What's the date? Uh, is today the fifth? is the fifth. Okay. January fifth. So tell me about your um, your no need sourdough bread. Our trials continue. Yeah. Okay. So the sizzle sound. Wait a second. The sizzle sound is some nice sausage being cooked, being cooked up this morning <laughs> for breakfast. Okay. Okay. Um. So this this is the our second second piece of um, second loaf of sourdough our sourdough bread mm -hmm. no need um, you can see you can see the the hard the hard crust that developed yeah. in there and then the really soft chewy mm -hmm. interior here right um, so far so far this one got a, this one got a little burnt. Um, let me the back up a little bit. I'm going to back up a little bit okay. just so we can, uh, so I can get you all in there and I don't have to keep moving around. The, so far the sourdoughs are coming out um, denser. Mm -hmm. They're a little denser and they don't have as much rise as as the other, um, as just the regular no need recipe that we were working on. Mm -hmm. The flavor, the flavor is pretty, is, is there. It, I think it's still a little flat. Mm -hmm. um, it could still have more depth to it, so I'll be working on that. I'm, the next loaf I make, I, I will add more sourdough culture mm -hmm. to the loaf and see what happens there. Um, I'm happy uh, I'm happy with the way this second loaf came out mm -hmm. compared to the first loaf. Mm -hmm. um, I feel I was, I added too much um, water or liquid to that first loaf right. and the the dough after rising for 24 hours was just kind of like too goopy mm -hmm. um, and it didn't uh, it, it tasted good but it just didn't create a real nice form of bread mm -hmm. um, and I'll uh, like this was the first one that we did let me unwrap it here this one came out flatter than the second one, and I think that's due to the um, due to the just you could see it came out a little flatter, mm -hmm. denser definitely looking. Definitely more dense. Yeah, so I definitely made added less liquid to this, mm -hmm. and really just I kind of was adding like. Tablespoon tails until I got the consistency I want instead of having like a cup and, and mm -hmm. just pouring a, a little flour? bit. Yeah, oh, not a flour, of, of liquid. Actually. Oh, okay, liquid. Because the flour stays the same, three cups mm -hmm. straight across. Yeah, but that's... we're still playing with it because of our altitude, right? Yeah, so the liquid the liquid issue is, is what we're still playing with. And what about the, um, the, the different yeasts? Because you discovered that we had like two different kinds of yeast which created two different kinds of breads, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true too and, and um, I got, let me get the packet. So we'll backtrack for a second too. I still do add um, regular like regular yeast you can buy in the store to the sourdough. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what I found in the past was well, is um, once you have a sourdough culture, because mm -hmm. what, you, what you do is you, when you make a sourdough culture, you carry over a little bit of your old sourdough mm -hmm. and mix it in with the new batch every time. Mm -hmm. And as time goes on, the yeast in the sourdough culture gets, 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 better. gets better, so it gets more active. So right now, the, our sourdough culture is still, um, still forming. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's a, a neonate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeast, yeast culture, so I'm still adding yeast to the bread to help with the rise. And what I found also with with the, the breads we're making, I, I made a, I made a couple loaves. I made our first three loaves with uh, the rapid rise, highly active yeast mm -hmm. from Fleischmann's, and really good re results with that. But mm -hmm. when I ran out of this, I had the regular active dry yeast. Mm -hmm. And, and that gave you so-so results. So-so results, and then so I, so yesterday I bought another, I bought a, a, a container of Fleischmann's, but then I realized after seeing this little one in the refrigerator. That's the wrong one. Yeah, this is just this is active mm -hmm. dry yeast. This one's highly active. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to the store and get the highly active because I haven't made a sourdough yet with the highly active. Okay. So, so I, that might do the trick. Yeah, I'd like to see how it re what the result is with the sourdough and the highly active yeast. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think that's it for now. We're still still tweaking, you know, time in the oven, um, position in the oven. So we're, we're playing. I'm playing with that each time, documenting like with the little slight changes that I make in it until I get the bread exactly the way mm -hmm. I want it to be. Mm -hmm. So so the next question is. It, yeah, was there anything else you wanted to add about the bread? Because I want to talk about something else. Okay, no, this is, uh, that's it. Okay, that's so, it bread. so switch, switching gears. Okay. I want to talk about the little green bottles on the, on the counter. Okay, yeah. And what you've been doing, what okay. you've been up to. Sure. Um, Mr. Fermenter. Yeah, I, I'm the master, I want to be the master alchemist. <laughs> so, we got, we got a direction and recipe online. Um, on how to make your own lacto-fermented sodas. Right, keep talking. I'm going to try to keep it steady okay. while I... While I uh, you need to cook the sausage. <laughs> cook the sausage um, here. So, so what we did is... Um, what I mean, I want to get the, I want to get the culture out of okay. the fridge. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So first things first, um, we need to make our, our, our mother from, uh, from ginger, uh, sugar, and water. So what, what we did with this is we filled the mason jar to about here with uh, with water and then <laughs> <laughs> Puppy, I can hear you. Oh no, oh, something's no, stuck. Something stuck. <laughs> um, and then add and then chopped um, ginger with the skin on after it's washed. Pretty finely, into, into a little tiny. You little want to turn the pieces. monitor off really yeah. quick? I'll turn it off. So I'm distracted for a few seconds. Okay. <laughs> and and then added two teaspoons of that to the water, and two teaspoons of sugar, mm -hmm. and then um, gave it a good stir, and then stirring it, stirring it twice a day, and and then once a day, adding another two teaspoons of white sugar and two teaspoons of chopped ginger, and we kept it on our counter covered with a cheesecloth for a week. And then um, little bubbles start forming at the top, and when you mix it, it fizzes up. So you stir it twice a day, right? Twice a day. Yeah, we get stirred, and then it gets added sugar and ginger um, once a day. We'll do an instructional video at some yeah. point. Once, once, right. once we, this is our first time. We didn't even taste. We haven't even tasted this yet. So yeah. We don't even know how it's gonna taste. Mm -hmm. So we, we're kind of weary of like giving tutorials when we. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> document our progress and our experimentations here. So last, so three days ago, after after we had the, the mother, we made um, the actual syrup soda. And what we, the direction we got on, online was in a saucepan to uh, bring to a boil half a gallon of water and then add shredded ginger I took the skin off because I put the skin. I put the first batch I made. I left the skin on and let it the ginger simmer in the water. And I didn't like the way the color came out. It came out really brown and mucky. Mm -hmm. So then I I dumped that out. It looked like duck poop water. Yeah, it was just nasty looking. I didn't <laughs> like it. And then so so I, I peeled the ginger and then shredded it and added two and a half ounces of shredded ginger to the half gallon of water and let it simmer for 30 minutes. And then after then after uh, then after uh, that simmer for 30 minutes, poured it in the, the, the jar, mixed one and a half cups of white sugar mm -hmm. into it, stirred it till it was all all mixed in, and then added water till I got to the top here. Or about to here. And then once it cooled, let it we let it sit on the counter till it totally cooled down to room temperature. We added one cup of our ginger mother strained. Mm -hmm. So I strained, I strained it, and, and added that to this. And then it set, it set out for three days. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it got it really got fizzy. Mm -hmm. and so that every time I mixed it, it did all the fizzes. It got all fizzy at the top. And then last night, I I took the um, took our Grolsch beer bottles here, and uh, Sterilized them and bottled up the soda, and this will sit out for another two to three days. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll try one after two days, and mm -hmm. then we'll try, and then we'll open the rest after three mm -hmm. and see what the difference is. And then, um, and we made seven bottles of, of soda. Uh, ginger ale. Nice. Yep. 
and uh, we'll we'll see how it tastes. So it's been sitting there for roughly 12 hours mm -hmm. so far. So probably by maybe one day, nine o'clock tonight, two days. So you didn't label tonight. any of those. No, I didn't label them because I mean I could. You could just label one. One, so we know. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. <laughs> It's going to be on uh, Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Saturday night around 9 o'clock will be three days. Okay. Um, so Friday night around 9 will be two. We can, we can see. That sounds great. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. So this Sourdough and lacto-fermented uh, soda. Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Yep. Very cool. Bye. Bye. If I can get it in there. All the fizz. This is our um, ginger soda. For ginger ale. I don't know. I don't think you can see all the bubbles. Can't see the fizz? I don't know. Maybe it'll there, come out. There from the top. I think you can see the bubbles from the top. Can you move the yeah. spoon? Oh, yeah. Look at those bubbles. Look at that. Yeah, hit on that sucker. So, how many more days on this one? Um, we're going to bottle this uh, Saturday night. Do Basically, we have enough bottles? Oh, yeah. We're going to buy more Grolsch bottles? I'm going to buy a couple more Grolsch. <laughs> <laughs> i got to drink some more beer. <laughs> Oh, man. oh God, that's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible the life we have to lead. Oh my God, I gotta drink more beer to bottle our soda. Under here is our more um, more bread it is proofing. Sourdough culture. Hmm, what's this? Oh yeah, breakfast. Yeah, you ready to eat, honey? Yeah.